Hey WordPress fans, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a free SSL on WP Engine's hosting platform. This video is intended for existing WP Engine customers who might not be using an SSL yet and want to get one set up, or for anyone looking for an SSL for their website and considering WP Engine as their hosting, I will show you how easy it is to get one set up in the control panel. Before we get started, I just want to cover a couple of really quick caveats. The free SSL that WP Engine offers will work for probably 90 to 95% of you guys out there. However, there are a few instances where it might not be the best solution. So a WP Engine free SSL is great for most business websites, as well as any personal website that you might have. It might not be the best option if you have a large e-commerce store or any larger site that's asking for a lot of sensitive information. If you fall into this category, you probably want to look into an extended validation certificate, also known as an EV SSL, and you can purchase those from a lot of different third-party providers. And if you're running WordPress multi-site and you're using these subdomains and not the subdirectories, and if you want every single one of your subdomains to have an SSL and be able to serve your site over HTTPS, then the free WP Engine SSL probably won't work for you you're going to want to look into a third-party wildcard SSL. But again, like I said, for about 90% of you guys or so, I think for most business websites, the free SSL that WP Engine offers is going to be great. I'm going to be using one of my personal blog websites as an example. I currently host it at WP Engine, and it does not have an SSL, so I'm going to go through the entire process with that site. I just want to quickly show you what it looks like without an SSL using the Chrome browser. This is an example of the login page, and you'll notice up here in the top left corner, Chrome lets us know that this page is not secure. They're actually going to warn us and say, be careful and don't submit any sensitive information, which includes passwords, and obviously our WordPress login page needs a password. So we really want this page to be secure. This is the home page of the site. You'll notice this is also not secured. If you come over here to the top left corner again and you click on the eye icon, you'll see that Chrome again reminds us that your connection to this site is not secure and you should not enter any sensitive information. So let's change all this, jump into the WP admin area and get our SSL all set up. First thing you'll do in your control panel for WP Engine is go to the installs page. And then here you can choose which install, assuming you have multiple websites in there, which install you wanna work with. If you only have one install, then by default, as soon as you click Installs, you're going to land on your Overview page. In the left-hand navigation here, just click on the SSL page. You'll see I have no active certificates for this website, so let's go ahead and click the Add Certificates button. Here you'll see there's a few options. There's the free Let's Encrypt, there's rapid SSL certificates you can purchase, or you can actually import a new one or import an existing one. I'm not going to cover all of those other options here in this video. We're just focused on the free Let's Encrypt SSL. So click on the button that says Get Let's Encrypt. There's just a couple of final steps here before we get our SSL set up. Just double check your install here. Make sure that you are getting this SSL for the correct website. Then for domain, you'll see the two domains that I have listed, both with the www and without the www. Technically, you should only be using one or the other for your site. And whichever one is coming up in your browser when you go to your website, that's technically the only one that you really need the SSL for. However, it doesn't hurt to request an SSL for both, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover all my bases and check both boxes here. And finally, just read and agree to the terms and conditions. You can read the terms by clicking this Terms and Conditions link. Check the box that you have read and agree. And then last step is to click Request SSL Certificate. You'll see a confirmation message that says everything is being set up. WP Engine says that it could take up to 24 hours for this to appear in your control panel. However, in my experience, it only takes about 10 minutes. You will receive a confirmation email when everything's ready to go. I'm just going to give it a couple minutes here to get set up, and then I'll jump right back with you and show you some final steps. And welcome back. So that did take a little bit longer than the 10 minutes that the previous SSL took. This one took about three hours for them to get it installed. Now, even though the SSL is installed, there's still a few things that we need to do in order to enable it on our website. Down here under the SSL certificates area, you'll see that the status is enabled and I can secure specific URLs. 
Since I'm using the non-www version of the website, I'm going to click on that one and open up the settings. You'll see a nice little warning that says that your site is not configured to protect any URLs. This is where an additional step comes into play that I'll walk you through right now. You'll see the Manage Certificate Auto Renew is checked by default. You want to leave that checked, that way you don't have to worry about renewing your certificate. Now when it comes time to choose which URLs you want to secure, I highly recommend that you just go ahead and secure all URLs. That'll load your entire site over HTTPS. I really think that about 90 to 95% of you guys, that's going to be your best option. There's only a few maybe specific instances where you might need just specific URLs. And if that's the case, you can go ahead and choose that second option. But for most of you guys, I recommend just securing your entire website. So to do that, we're just going to choose this radio button right here for secure all URLs. Once you do that, go ahead and hit save all changes. As soon as you save your changes in the WP Engine control panel, Navigate right to your website and refresh the page. And just like that, you'll notice that now your website is served over HTTPS. I want to jump back into the control panel real quick and just suggest that you choose two other options. Here under the WordPress admin pages, I highly recommend that you secure both the login page as well as your entire WP admin area. You can do so by checking these two boxes right here and then clicking the save button in the top right corner. Now if you navigate to your site's login page, you'll see that this page is also served up securely. And then once you get logged in and you land on your dashboard, you'll also notice that this page is served up with your SSL using HTTPS. And that's it. Now your site is all set up to use WP Engine's free SSL. If you'd like to sign up for WP Engine, you can do so here. Or check out some of our other WP Engine videos. And as always, thanks for watching.